Mouthpiece ventilation. Mouthpiece ventilation is a form of non-invasive ventilation using a portable home mechanical ventilator with a single limb, open circuit, and mouthpiece assembly. Use of this device is essential for breathing support and or secretion clearance for individuals with significant weak inspiratory and expiratory muscles and decreased lung volume. Trevor first reported symptoms of muscle weakness five years prior to this encounter. He was subsequently diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Nocturnal mask ventilation was initiated as a precautionary measure since Trevor also showed symptoms of mild sleep apnea. Trevor's inspiratory and expiratory muscle weakness is progressing. He meets the respiratory therapist who will assist with the initiation of day mouthpiece ventilation. Trevor, during your last visit to the Canvent Clinic, we noted that your vital capacity dropped. Oh yeah, I remember. Something you never forget. I believe I dropped over a liter in three months. A sudden 20% fall in vital capacity highlights changes in your condition. Despite this, you achieved, with the lung volume recruitment bag, a maximum insufflation capacity of 83% predicted normal. Evidently, LVR works well for you. Uh, it does work well, absolutely, and I feel actually more energy at the end of it, after the end of the uh, exercises. Can you perform LVR on your own, Trevor? Uh, I struggle to squeeze the bag, so I have someone do it for me. Do you feel the need to use your bi-level device during the day to assist you with your breathing? Occasionally. I do use it um, if anytime I'm napping. How many hours in a 24-hour period would you use your bi-level? I'm probably using it uh, 10 to 12 hours. You recently required an urgent visit to the nearest emergency department. What were the circumstances? Um, I was uh, sitting in my chair like I do every other day, and I just seemed to get really heavy in the chest and was unable to get the sensation of a, of a full breath. Uh, we used the lung volume recruitment bag to try to expand my chest and that uh, it would relieve it, but it would return. And then we tried the BiPAP to get um, more assistance consistently and that didn't relieve it either. So we decided we'd go over to the hospital just to make sure it wasn't something else that was bothering me. Um, I mean, they gave me uh, a triple dose of the Ventolin. Um, but I guess they probably could have given me um, a nebulizer with no steroids just to uh, loosen up or make the chest feel more relaxed. Your ability to breath stack with the bag suggests you will be successful with mouthpiece ventilation. We will exchange the bi-level with two ventilators, one for night mask ventilation and the other mounted on your wheelchair for day mouthpiece ventilation. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. yeah. We use the CanVent arm support system with a tapered circuit for day mouthpiece ventilation. The arm is flexible yet firm and promotes individual trouble-free access to the mouthpiece. To assemble the flexible arm and circuit, first remove the CanVent arm clamp. Straighten the arm by using the palms of your hands to roll the arm on a flat surface until it is straight. Gently push the small tapered end of the breathing circuit through the clamp end of the flexible arm until it reaches half an inch beyond the opposing end. Add desirable mouthpiece and angle connectors if required. Identify the most strategic place to mount the can bent arm to the wheelchair, usually one of the wheelchair canes. Tighten the clamp to the cane with the can bent arm and breathing tube in place. 
Flex the can vent arm and position the mouthpiece near the individual's mouth without limiting the patient's mobility and vision. The ventilator parameters are adjusted in keeping with specific ventilator minimal requirements to allow for an open circuit without ventilator nuisance alarms. Trevor is a natural. With minimal guidance, he teaches himself day mouthpiece ventilation for supported breaths and within seconds, he's able to perform lung balm recruitment to maximum sufflation capacity. Manually assisted cough using the costal lateral compression technique is also introduced to his care to optimize cough. The respiratory therapist provides education to Trevor and his family on how to care for the new devices. Trevor returns to the clinic within a month for a follow-up appointment. The night ventilator data card is downloaded to assess night ventilation. Pulmonary function tests are performed. These measures will assist to establish the required treatment. Baseline vital capacity is measured without lung volume recruitment. Big breath in and blast it out. Maximum insufflation capacity is also measured with day mouthpiece ventilation. <coughs> Followed by a measurement of the maximum insufflation capacity using the LVR bag. Cough efficacy is also measured with a peak flow meter with and without LVR techniques. <laughs> Trevor shares his life experience since our last encounter. I think it's made a difference. I'm uh, more comfortable in different positions and it helps a lot after getting up and taking a few steps to catch my breath because I get really tired. So. It's definitely been a lot easier on me having it. At what time of the day do you begin mouthpiece ventilation? Six o'clock in the morning. Well, my wife starts work at 6.30, so if I want out of bed before she leaves, that's uh, when I get up. And you usually apply your nighttime mask ventilation when? Mm, 11.30 at night. Trevor, what is your feeling about your family and friends' comfort level when they are with you? I think that uh, initially there was some fear because it identifies that you're progressing. At the same time, the idea is to um, expand or extend your life by having the ability to manage your breathing. The, uh, there was some anger because of that. Um, and there was a lot of curiosity. You know, I go to all of my son's football practices and games, and one kid asked me if I was... Uh, a straw to get a drink and I, I was like no I wish but it's to help me breathe so um, it's giving me a, yet another opportunity to educate people on uh, ALS and what it does to the body <laughs> I, I think it's uh, it's amazing the uh, the freedom it's given me I've been out more I, I, I want to get out and do more because I'm not worried about the humidity or having trouble breathing Visit our website at www.canventottawa.ca.